Welcome back, viewers, to the episode of Questions with Matt and Mark. This mm -hmm. week, Mark, I'm going to start off for you. Okay. So it's New Year's resolution time. It is. Right? Yeah. So viewers, uh, over the weekend, uh, Mark was interviewed by a local radio station, Mix uh, 107.7, and they were talking about uh, popular topics in regards to New Year's resolutions, in regards mm -hmm. to finance. So. Yeah. With questions with Matt and Mark this week, why don't you summarize some of those talking points? Yeah, so the biggest thing that I went over uh, during that interview, Matt, was um, the biggest thing that I think people need to do is to have a game plan going into the next year. Yeah, you know, people automatically think, well, I just need to, I just need to throw a bunch of money in the market or increase my four hundred one k contribution or not spend as much but they don't really have a plan in place, yep. right? So what are you gonna do if the market drops by 10%? Do yep. you have a, a certain dollar amount where you're like, yeah, I'm gonna put money to work in the market? Or do you have a plan for when you get a raise, are you gonna put half of that raise into your 401k and enjoy and spend the rest of it? Yep. So I think the biggest thing is instead of just jumping into buying stocks, um, you know, come up with a game plan of how you want your portfolio allocated, how much you want to contribute to your 401k, and what the goal for each of your accounts are. That's huge because a lot of people will be worried about, oh, the market's sold off. You what do you need, do? Yeah, we, we what do. Do you do? Do you need this money next week? Is yeah. there is there an, a huge expense I'm unaware of? Well, yeah. Well, then you can look at your game plan and be like, oh, this just happened, so I have to do this. You do it and you move on with your day. Yeah, but right? if it's longer term oriented money, say for retirement, those sell offs are opportunities. Right, exactly. And then the other thing that we talked about, Matt, was, you know, he asked me, you know, what do you see most people are doing that are, uh, quote unquote, self sabotaging your finances? Ooh, okay. And the way that I took this one was, you know, people not taking enough responsibility to dictate what their financial future is going to be. And what I mean by that is, if you want to retire at a certain age and have a certain lifestyle, yes. At a certain point in time, you have to take that responsibility. Take on ownership. Yourself, follow it. Have a plan. And do that now because no one else is going to do it for you. That's a great point, right? You know, a big topic is, you know, is Social Security going to be around by the time I retire? And I always tell people, plan like it isn't, right? Yeah, yeah. And just make yourself able to retire when you want to retire. Self-sufficient. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to have someone like me or you telling this person, hey, you can't afford to retire right now because you haven't saved enough. So why not make the financial sacrifices now, take the baby steps now, and then get yourself to where you want to be in a couple of years. So what comes to mind, uh, viewers, when Mark says this is, you know, we have a financial planning, you know, department within our firm that helps people kind of plan this stuff out and have a way to check it on a periodic basis. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, okay, New Year's resolution, I want to start saving for retirement, or I want to increase this, or how am I going to deal with this bonus or this, or this salary increase, have a plan. Yeah, exactly. And then another one of my favorite rules that I that I go by is if I'm going to treat myself and I make a large discretionary uh, purchase, mm -hmm. I always hold myself accountable and be like, all right, Mark, if you're going to spend X amount of money on, let's just say, new Apple AirPods, right? Okay. Then you have to contribute that same amount of money Ooh. into your IRA, your 401k, your taxable savings account. That's a good idea. So you're holding yourself accountable be like, hey, I'm treating myself, but I'm also... I have the ability to put this money away for retirement too. That's a great, great idea. So that's my number one rule that I follow. And I think that's good for other people to use going into the new year. Not only did you get one tidbit of information, you had like three or four really yeah. good ones in there. Yeah. So viewers, you get a bonus this week. Yeah. What do you got so, for me? Uh, today, Apple finally hit a $3 trillion market cap. And that's the first time that any stock has done that in the history of the United States. Correct. So for listeners, Matt, what does that mean? What is market cap and how do you calculate that? Good question. So viewers, what you do is you take the outstanding shares that are that are available that that company has issued times the actual price that the shares are trading at. Mm -hmm. So you run that multiplication and Mark is correct. Today is the first day, right? I've seen a U.S. traded stock or stock anywhere in the world trade at a size a uh, total value of over $3 trillion. Mm -hmm. it, it is, 
I mean, I'm, I'm sure four trillion will happen at some point, and who knows what company that's going to be. Right. But Apple definitely made history today. Yeah, it just goes to show you how powerful uh, a company Apple is, and it makes sense that Apple did it because yep. they're so ingrained in all of our everyday lives, right? Oh yeah. So just thinking about it from that standpoint, if someone had to guess, you know, what company hit this today without us telling them, it'd be my probably first could guess. have made a pretty good guess. My first guess. Was. Yeah. And of course, the compliance disclaimer is we're not advocating for or against Apple, rather just the news within itself yeah. uh, hitting that milestone. Yeah. All right, viewers, uh, we'll check you back next week for another episode of Questions with Matt and Mark. Mark and I, we'll see you then.